When I first started speaking at WOW, globally 100 to 140 million women and girls had undergone FGM. That figure has risen to 200 million women. There are still 3 million girls who undergo FGM in Africa alone every year. And between now and 2030, there are 68 million girls at risk. Between January and March 2019, nearly 2,000 cases of FGM were reported by the NHS. I came to London in 2010 and met this young Somali girl who had undergone the same invasive form of FGM as I had. And I saw her on a stage, really hyperventilating and feeling alone. And I really understood that my silence was very much complicit to the misunderstanding of the issue. And it was within that moment I thought I had enough power to really do something. But what really drove me here was just seeing somebody that could have been me so vulnerable and me being silent about it. So my journey of seeking to end FGM ultimately started with wanting the UK government to understand. I just wanted young Somali girls specifically, but all girls at risk of FGM, to be understood and to be protected. FGM, as brutal and as painful as it is, I think the constant dismissal of our experiences was what really hurt me and what really traumatised me growing up in this country. When I first started, I had a niece who was just about to be born. I knew she, she was going to be a girl. So I kind of lived vicariously through her, saying the fact that I was searching for a better United Kingdom for her in terms of the protection systems around FGM. And she's nine on Monday, and things can change so easily within a family, within a community, and within a culture and a continent. My niece is a lot freer because each generation pushed a little bit further. And the key success and the final element of that, which I knew that we'd achieved everything that we wanted to do, was having FGM included in the Children's Act in 2019. The first commitment to ending FGM on a global level was £36 million from DFID, which was the first country to ever do that, was made at WOW and it was made as a result of WOW. At WOW you can talk about everything, nothing is seen as a taboo and nothing is trivialised as not being important enough to have a platform. And I think it's also inspired a generation of young activists to really be able to be open about their anatomy and other things that were shameful um, a decade ago.